Hello, hello. Today we are teaching what it means to be safe and what it means to fall and fall well. And um, my lovely assistant Becky and I will be demonstrating a position that many believe to be a beginner's position, but I actually think that it is an intermediate position because I define level by extremity of falls or how likely you could be hurt. So let's demonstrate uh, backfly, something that's, that can seem, uh, is the word innocuous? Innocuous. Innocuous, yeah. where something seems, it could be so safe, it's just nothing, it's just a little backfly and how it could go wrong. So backfly, I think this distance from my leg distance here is I think about four feet. And even at this height, I feel you can really hurt yourself. A common fall is side to side. And if you fall inside a side this way and you fall straight down really fast and you're unable to turn, you can fall right down on your wrist. Really hard. And see how Becky, she instinctively turned towards the mat and brought her hand down. And if you're a new flyer and you don't have that instinct, you could definitely just go right over and land on your shoulder really hard or on your head. So what I want to demonstrate today is one step before you do back flight, let's try a position that's a little lower. Let's do hammock. So I'm going to demonstrate the little points to create hammock. The first thing the base does is gauge the distance. My hands are on the ground and my flyer is able to touch my hands with the, her heels. I place my feet on her knees, not parallel to her legs, but out like folded leaf, feet out so that her knees can fold over my feet. She's going to sit down onto my shins and just Lean on back slowly. A common mistake for flyers is that they keep their hips up and lift their hips up when you lift your hips up. So really sink in with your butt. Let yourself relax. It's called hammock for a reason. You're relaxing into it. Your head drops back and you're relaxing into it. That's a hammock. There you go. She brings arms to the side. That's a hammock. And notice my arms are stacked right above my shoulders. And your feet can go side to side. Now keep in mind the purpose of this video again is to teach safety. I want to fly hammock first because this distance is much, it's about a foot and a half lower than back fly to help train a possible, what it feels like to fall from, from, from a supine position where you're unable to see the ground. So when first, when beginner flyers fly anything, uh, any supine position where, where they can't see the ground, the first time they fall, it's a real shock. They don't know exactly what's happening to the body as they're falling. And so one thing that could happen is they, they, they tend to resist that fall and like kind of get this fight or flight response where they're like <gasps> so shocked about what's happening that they don't, they're not in a calm state of mind to, to go with the fall. So now we're going to demonstrate what you can do on the ground to train not only your body, but more so your mind to know the experience of falling um, in a supine position when you're looking up towards the sky and not able to see the ground. So um, let's have Becky demonstrate. So Becky wants to demonstrate this because she herself has fallen from a back fly position. And her first, could you share your experience of what happened? Um, just, just your own experience of falling from back fly and yeah, so, How you to that? so falling from back fly, I, at first uh, we were falling sideways and I didn't know whether we were just wobbling or whether we were falling until it was so late into the fall yeah. that my, I, I couldn't have time to react or think. I didn't know how to fall, so I whipped my body forward uh, this way and fell sideways. But the result was that for like hours, two hours or three hours, my back was hurting from the whip action of falling forward. So I was trying to resist the fall rather than knowing how to just fall into the safety position. So if we were to practice something on the ground, what would be a good kind of practice uh, to condition that feeling of you're about to fall? Yeah, so one of the things was knowing that if I hit the ground, I would be safe, and then I know how to hit the ground and distribute the weight, rather than um, feeling like I shouldn't fall, like I, I should make falling be wrong. Mm. So, yeah. That's a great. I I like what you just said. To feel, to 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 not feel like falling is is so wrong. Like it's uh, like something that to be ashamed of. Right. It's it's something that naturally occurs in acro and in life where you have things that you fail at every day, 
but in the act of failing, you're learning. So actually, some of the most successful people, some of the best actor yogis you probably know, are people who do fall a lot and fall all the time and know how to fall well and don't see yeah. that falling as something to be ashamed of, but to relish and, and knowing how to fall well. So let's demonstrate what uh, something we can do to just practice that mental response of falling. Yeah. From the back fly. Yeah. So I love practicing distributing the weight by just sitting up like this and literally just falling to the side with my whole body. Oh, actually, it's kind of fun. Yeah. Let's do that again. That. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Just it all against, all, so that my body lands more or less at the same time, distributing the weight throughout the whole. So it's not pinpoint like on an elbow, or like just on your head, where you're distributing right. the weight. Far more likely broad. to be hurt if I'm pushing all that weight in one point. Yes. Yeah. And I, I get a great relationship with the ground. The ground is almost there for me in this kind of mental practice. Yeah. And so the more you do that, you feel more comfortable when the fall happens. Um, you don't get that reaction of, oh my god, what is this new feeling? You're so comfortable in practicing this motion. Yeah. And when it does happen, you know to, to, to go with that fall yeah. and to get into a position of safety rather than just to freeze and not know what's Yeah, I like to think of it as creating a relationship with the fall. Like, I'm mm -hmm. creating the relationship with the falling experience and knowing, building my own confidence that I can handle um, the contact with the ground. Yeah, so the ground, if you see it as a friend, you're getting to know him better. There you go. Better. Yeah. So very cool. All right. Well, this is our little tutorial on falling. Let us know what you think. And until next time, guys, have fun and play safe.